Hola, and welcome to Kim at Home. In today's video, I'll be doing some decluttering, organizing, and deep cleaning. I'm getting it all in today. As you can see, these drawers are in full overload, so I'm gonna go ahead and work on that first. This is the dresser that I've been wanting to paint. I'm not really sure of the color, but if you have a suggestion, please leave a comment down below. It's in my birthday yet, cause I gotta say you're looking like a gift for me. This is your first time here. Thank you so much for clicking on my channel. Please consider subscribing. Join the family. We're called the Keep Up Crew. We're keeping up with all things home, life, and work. We share encouraging tips in the comments, and it's a safe and positive space. Cause I got this list of my favorite things. You could be the part where it all begins. You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of it. You could be one of the things I love Sunday morning breakfast with my bedroom door lock I like everything that has a cherry on top yeah. The goal here with the clothes is to make sure that everything is in the drawer properly. They were kind of just thrown around before. You saw the before pictures. So I just want to make sure everything is organized and I'm also going to be getting rid of things that can no longer fit me. Here's what we're looking like. I'm not going for perfection, I'm just going for organization and I want it to make sense every time I open the drawer. I just want to make sure that all of my night clothes are in a drawer, all of my t-shirts are in another drawer, and then I have leggings in another drawer. They shouldn't be like all intertwined. That's just too much for me. Anytime I organize a dresser, I like to pull the drawers out one by one. The reason for that is because I get a little bit of anxiety <laughs> and I get like really anxious if there's just like stuff all over the place. So it's much easier for me to organize this way. How do you guys like to organize? Leave a comment down below. Everything's looking pretty good so far. I do have some items to my left that I need to throw away, so I'm just gonna work on getting these drawers put back into the dresser. Oh, and I just wanna say, it was me or the camera. <laughs> this is real life, real life struggles. paint all over the countertops, which I was not concerned about because that is really easy to get off. I also got some paint on the bathtub faucet. That's what it's called. And here is the hub side. I got paint on his side as well. I have all of these handy dandy oils. So I'm gonna use one of these oils to get the paint off. I'm just gonna sprinkle oil all around. A lemon essential oil. Can you all see that? Yes, lemon essential oil. You could also use like acetone nail polish remover and you could use charcoal, charcoal lighter fluid. But I'm sure you don't want to use like gasoline smelling type of things in your home because it does smell really, really bad. My handy dandy scraper. So let's get to it. What I didn't tell you is that I painted this bathroom three times. So it's going to have like three different layers of paint. Yeah, semi-gloss paint to be exact. Blue color, white color, and then another white color. So my goal is to just gently scratch off the layers of paint so that I'm not scratching the actual countertop. So let's see what happens. Not too bad. 
it's coming right off. I should have let the lemon sit a little bit longer, the lemon essential oil, but it comes off pretty good. I just don't want to scrape too hard because I don't want to scratch anything. So I had to put a little bit more muscle into there to get all of the paint off. And here's what we're looking like. Not bad at all. I mean, there were like three layers of semi-gloss paint, different colors, different shades of whites and blues. This part right here just needs to be caulked. Moving right along to my husband's side, the paint is a little bit thicker on his side, so I'm gonna have to put a little bit more muscle into it. And a note to myself is to always make sure you tape up. Even though I think I'm a painting G, I really do need the tape so I don't have to spend time getting the paint off furniture. I'm gonna try some nail polish remover, even though it says to use the acetate nail polish remover. I don't have any, I just have non-acetone, but let's see if it works. This looks good. Again, it's another situation where the this has to be cocked. But it looks really good. Lastly, we have the faucet for the bathtub, and I put the lemon essential oil on here about 10 minutes ago. It's coming off slowly but surely, and this is what we're looking like down here. All the paint droppings. Okay, so this is starting to take the paint off of the wall. Therefore, I'm done. It ain't that serious to me. It's okay. <laughs> it really is. Final look. This is what we're looking like, folks. All of the paint is off of the front, but not on the sides. And I'm okay with that because it's removing the paint from the wall, and I don't have that to do right now. Time to get those windows, blinds, window seals, and the whole nine dusted and cleaned off. Let's get it. Sprayway glass cleaner has been my go-to for like the last year now. It works so well. I don't really have streaks often, and if I do, I just wipe up right after that with the e-cloth polishing cloth. I'm giving everything a good wipe down with Mr. Clean Yellow Disinfectant. It smells so good. It's gonna be smelling good for hours. Anytime I clean off the blinds, I make sure that I turn them both ways, cleaning the inside and the outside. But like I mentioned in my last video, there's such more easier ways to do this. And one way is the tongs with a rag and a rubber band wrapped around it. And then you can just clean it all off at the same time. However, these blinds are very thin, so it's just easier for me to do it this way. I definitely zone out when I clean and there's music on, so I was in my own world and walked right into that. Real life struggles. <laughs>
what the leftover water is looking like from me cleaning off the windows in my bedroom. And that's what it looks like when you spill it on the ground. There was a lot of dust that fell from those windows. I wanna go ahead and work on getting these baseboards taken care of. I'll be wiping them down and I'll also be vacuuming them. It's always good to start when you clean from the top and then work your way down because dust falls. Says fill up all the blanks with lemon sprinkled ice. Please don't ask me twice. Rhythm got me bouncing, bottles got me crashing. Don't you know? Got me all jacked up and I'm hot, but I have to keep going because I have a couple more things that I need to get done. Sometimes, even when you don't want to, you just have to push, push through it, push through the dust, Kim. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep working on these baseboards. One thing that I also like to do when I'm working on baseboards is to make sure that the plugs are wiped down as well. They accumulate dust too. When I'm cleaning, I try to always work smart. If I'm cleaning one window, just clean all the other windows on the same floor that you can reach. So that's what I'm doing. I'm in my youngest daughter, Karia's room. She's nine years old. Yikes, that is so dirty. It's a wonder you could even see out of the window. Drowning ID I'm just in it for the just the highlight drift in the highlight Just the high feel living in the highlight drift Just the highlight quiz on the highlight I'm just in it for the just the highlight drift in the highlight Just the high feel living in the highlight drift Just the highlight quiz on the highlight I'm just in it for the Here's another place that people often forget and that's something that needs to be cleaned up real good. Looking real good, looking real good. That looks so much better. I know windows are a thing that people typically clean seasonally, but my rule of thumb is if it needs attention, then just go ahead and give it the attention that it needs. This is my other daughter's room, Bree. She's 19 years old, so she basically keeps up with her room. So I come in there to either yell at her to tell her what to clean or I deep clean something like her windows. made it this far thank you so much i am so appreciative 
I have made so many connections within social media and YouTube and it's just so amazing. I really love making these videos and I hope they inspire you to just get it done. Take 30 minutes out of your day every single day and clean something in your home. That way you're not spending the entire weekend cleaning your house for hours. Another thing that you could be doing on the weekend is some self-care because we all need it. Make sure you're standing in the mirror and saying your affirmations. Make sure you say, you are worthy. You are amazing because you are, you are needed and you are also loved. Thank you again for watching the video consider subscribing as it helps my channel don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment down below let me know what you're working on and how you're keeping up throughout the week i hope all of you have a fantastic and productive week bye guys